love is my weight. This quote from St. Augustine makes sense only if you know ancient physics. You see, fire went up because the source was thought to be from the sun. Material objects fell down because they thought that they were from the dirt. You see, to the ancients, things were drawn to their source. To Augustine and myself, love is much the same way. You see, life is a series of love, loving things of this world, but all the while really searching for God. Hello, my name is Alex Gote, and I'm a husband, father, student, BJJ black belt and youth minister. But you see, my life has not always been this way. Check this out. So look at where I went for this winter school. Look how close it is. Remember when I'm graduating, finally graduating. This lady tells me, <laughs> she's like, you are not made for college. Made for life. Oh, uh, man, I got this story. I used to get in so much trouble right there. Oh my God. Bro. We go to two different schools at the same time to make up all my hours, because I didn't have enough hours to graduate. If you tell a kid his whole life that he's not going to amount to anything, what do you think is going to happen? It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, in fact. They even have, now that I think about it, they have a label in theory. They talk about that. And um, I would get in so much trouble and so forth, and, and you know, I was told I'm going to end up like my real dad. Penitentiary and drug bus dead. One of the people that really, and I know this sounds weird and I'm positive, <laughs> bro, I know some people are gonna trip, but like one of the people that really helped me like get out of this mindset, honestly, was Tupac, was looking past what's going on in front of you. And you know, in some way, shape, or form, you have an ability to kind of think, and that's what happened. Like I just, I don't know, man. Like it was like during, I just it just clicked. I'm like, yo, I bought into this my whole life. What's gonna happen? What what, what am I gonna do? And then I started noticing a lot of my friends were, were basically like getting locked up, passing away, and, and I was just like, there was always something in the back of my mind, like how, how much longer is it gonna take? What, what is it gonna take? Are you gonna end up going down that road? Our hearts are restless, O oh God, until they rest in you. This famous saying from St. Augustine shows that searching for meaning in what the culture told me and what it tells us of what the fullness of what life is really all about only led me to a certain point. When I start noticing all these things are like running through my head like really, really fast. And I just was like, I can't do this anymore. I can't do something with my life, I'm gonna end up just like my friends. So that's when I stopped. Like I, I literally just was like, yo, I'm, I'm good. The next day I just stopped doing some of the stuff that I was doing. And I got on my knees praying. I started reading my Bible like the next day. Reality, now that I'm thinking about it, I got out and I started, okay, so I get home, it's like, man, it's like six o'clock in the morning, something like that. I think I slept maybe an hour. I got up and for some reason I wanted to go to church. Like starting to come to know that, you know, Jesus, that relationship with Jesus. Um, and so they had, they were having a bazaar. And for some reason I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna go there. And I started looking around and like they were selling like, you know, little rosaries and so forth. And um, there was a sister out there, a nun. And she starts talking to me. And like, she gave me, she gave me this, this cross. And I still have it in my room, man. It's over my bed. I mean, it's over my room whenever you walk in. And like, I think that's my real, like, now that I'm thinking about, that was like my first conversion 
well, one of my first conversions to, you know, God and so forth. But even to the Catholic Church, because I, I remember thinking like, man, there's something special with this lady. St. John Paul II says that God in his deepest mystery is not a solitude, but a family. Uh, it's funny when asked about uh, describing Gauté, it was actually a very simple uh, answer because it's such a rare kind of uh, mixture of like personality type and teaching type and you don't see it very often, but he is uh, the easiest uh, modern day philosopher. The easiest way to put it is he's just a good dude overall, a good genuine dude. Um, man, if I could describe him in like a sentence, it would probably be like something a, a little bit like a maybe like a gangster Yoda, you know what I mean? Like a very, very understanding person. Like I can come to that professor with anything, whether it's Matt related or life related. And you know, he really, he really puts it in a way that I understand. And not only that I understand, but that like, I feel like he's been in my shoes before. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've done other martial arts uh, in the past, and I mean, they've been good, but the only one that has changed me as a person outside of the martial arts gym has been jiu-jitsu. And one of the main reasons why I've stuck with this so long is a lot of life lessons that I've learned here and I'm able to pass on, especially when it comes to uh, the different positions. So, so like from the outside eye, you know, it may look like the person is losing, but to the trained eye, it's far from it at any position. You, you have an opportunity to, to not only re reverse the situation, but to think your way through it, because it's a thinking man's game. You see, in some mystical and mysterious way, we are made for family and family bonds. I'm good, now I have to start over with Aww. you. Aww. 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 That's disgusting, don't make that noise. Sacrifice! Sweet! You um, speak to us, may we be the parents that we've been called to be, the husband and wife we've been called to be, the kids that we've been been called to be the parent, I mean the youth minister, and just the different titles that we hold. And be um, this light in your world. Alex to me is like a father figure. Like he has always been there since like the moment I met him. He is, he's a dad. If you know my background story, then <laughs> Alex changed me, man. Alex changed me a lot. Well, my first encounter was at a confirmation that I was attending uh, a speech, a confirma not confirmation speech, but a, a faith formation speech. And through the speech, you know, as he's talking and going on to different um, details about uh, topics and, you know, characters, um, that whole speech was literally, in that moment, seemed like it was meant for me. You know, everything he was talking was literally something that was calling out since that day. I um, enjoy hearing his talks and it's something that I will always carry with me and if it were not for him, I would not be in my Catholic faith now because I was going to convert. There's five covenants in the Old Testament. Y'all remember any of this from first year? Yeah. I just want you to think about it for a second. And that half, just half, would go back into your schools, your homes and everything and look at this world as, yo, this is my chance to become a saint. How crazy would your homes be? How crazy would your communities be? Augustine states, behold what you are, become what you receive. What he's saying is what is called a Eucharistic worldview. It's receiving Eucharist and becoming Eucharist to this world. I've learned that with our baptismal rites comes a responsibility because who it is that I am and who it is that you are. Being made in the image of God means we are made by love and for love, but love is meant to be shared. 
Love kept to oneself becomes selfish. I want you to imagine if the apostles kept this message to themselves. We wouldn't know the fullness of how God really loves each one of us and calls us by name. You see, for me, there really is no other option. Holiness, a life of love, and sharing this love is it. In other words, sainthood is not an option. Sainthood is a mandate.